Howdy, Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yo, Jose Gruss, Aus Texas. Hey, folks, Johnny Practical Nurse. Today, we're going to talk about tips on how to set up your tourniquet and placement for them. Uh, I want to really thank Recon Medical for having a really good tourniquet that's budget-friendly. First thing I want you all to do, of course, is to just unwrap it. All right, take it out of the packaging. I'm going to set that off to the side there so you can see that. Uh, added high strength Kevlar, U.S. patent. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like I said, these are pretty good for a budget. I mean, and I'm going to go through them and show you how to do all this. What you got here for me? A little plastic bag? Okay, might be really cool. But take it out because you don't want to be fumbling with this when you really need to. Take it out, take it out of the wrapper. Seems like when you're in your most critical of times, you uh, seem to lose a lot of your fine motor skills. But let me just show you how I do this, okay? All right. For starters, move this right here. And this thing is really well constructed. I really like their tourniquets. Kind of put it that put that right there. Kind of keeps it out of the way. Kind of see this part right here? Just kind of thread that through there. Like this. And just leave it like like this, y'all. And let me explain why. Now you've got this thing that's big enough, you can just throw it on anything. I mean, you can throw it, you know, put your leg through there, an arm through there. And this is just what I do. Please tell me if you have a different idea. Again, there's always a different way to build a better mousetrap. It's nice and compact like that. Nothing gets in the way. And I'm going to show you something about this little red tag here. So hold on. You know, when we talk about different ways to places to put this thing. One of the things that I tell people is, is keep it where either hand can get to it on any part of your body. Or as I'm about to show you on any kind of tool. Okay. Just put it anywhere where any part of your, where no matter where it is on your body, both hands can get to it. Let me show you one method here. Just. If you casually stick this in a pocket, you know, this thing has a red flap right here. This way, if, you know, anyone sees you, and for any reason you're incapacitated, they can see this right here. And they can just pull that out. And there it is, right there. Okay? That's just one one place. If you choose to pick it in your, put, pick it, <laughs> put it in your pocket, I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, leave this part right here out. This little red marker right here. Little red tag here. So that people can see it, okay? That's one method. Let me show you the next method. Something else you can use to attach them with. Now, this is probably what something y'all are probably familiar with. Just an IFAC kit, all right? And, you know, I took my scissors out so I can show you all this. You want to use something that is easy to get off with, you know, get the tourniquet off with. And some people tell me they use rubber bands. I'm not too fond of rubber bands in Texas. Uh, it gets really hot here if you leave something in your car. They will definitely degrade, deteriorate. So what this is, is just some cheap, you know, little little elastic hair ties. You know, your your girlfriend, wife, whatever may have them. When I was in a heavy metal band, I had them, okay? Because <laughs> I had a lot of hair. But the thing is, they're easy. This right here is easy to detach. Easy to detach, and it's gone, okay? That way you can pull it out. And you can just see how I just kind of put it in there. Just kind of looped it in there, and that's it. But, you know, like I said, some people prefer rubber bands. That's fine. I'm not too keen on rubber bands. It's really easy just to put this back. I have not yet, while using this system, ever knocked one off or crawled away from it or something like that. I just try to avoid this part right here. So when I can pull it, it comes off without, without a lot of fuss and trouble. You know, just off it comes. I mean, if you grab it in the center and pull it and yank it hard, trust me, it will come off. All right, let me show you something else here. So this right here is my homestead defense vest that I keep handy that has everything I could possibly need on it on just the vest. This way, if something goes bump in the night, you know, I just can grab my vest. It has pretty much everything I need on it in one handy dandy vest. And there you go. Now, this is where I keep it on my vest right here. You know, again, this is the lower part. If your arms get injured, you're not going to be able to pick your arms up very well. 
but you still can get it like about waist high and just pull that thing out of there. And there and you know, there it is. Okay, that's simple. Next place to put it. And here's another place that I really suggest people secure one. This way you always have, you know, your rifle with you. You always have your tourniquet with you. And for this one, you know, I, I definitely needed a longer kind of secure band or a nylon band on there. So what I did was I took two of these. You know, kind of put the old thumb through there in and just looped it through, okay? And then I just kind of stretched it around like that. Hope you can see that, but just like that. Again, this is something that if you have to, you know, you can just kind of grab it, you know, pull it through and you got it. Very, very, release is really easy. And this is how, you know, I kind of mounted on a pistol belt is like this and notice it's close to the buckle because again if your arms are injured you know it's right there kind of midway there up front i've got a few friends of mine they like to they like they kind of like to put theirs on on the back on the back of the belt uh yeah i mean if that works for you that's fine again this is all about what works for you not for what works for anyone else but what works for you uh the thing i'm always concerned about is uh when i notice people are injured they're either laying on their side or laying on their back so and unless there's a, a gross back painful injury or something like that and they roll over, you know, again, it doesn't hurt to put, you know, one to multiple places, put one on the front, put one on the back, on the back if you want. But, you know, again, how many do you have to have? I always tell people to always have a minimum of two, one in your IFAC and, and one where you can get it with both hands. So in conclusion, just want to show you this really quick again. This is really an awesome tourniquet, you know, if you're on a budget and everything. Uh, they definitely spared no expense on this. You got the nice red tag right here. You know, you got the finger hole, you know, to, to pull that through. And let me demonstrate you why I do it this way. I fold it this way. It's just because it's just easier. For me, it's just easier to deploy when I have to get to it. You know. Again, like I said, I like the little tag that you get for identification. You know, but when you got to absolutely pull that thing out, there it is, just like that. I've seen people pull this, you know, literally pull all this all the way through and then uh, do it this way. And I just, I never understood that. But again, it's not about me. It's about you. Okay. <laughs> what works for you. All right. So again, I just start right here. And I, I keep that out of the way because it just seems to get, you know, I've, I've had it where this right here. Some people still prefer to do this. And I've got nothing against that other than the fact, again, you do have the potential for losing your fine motor skills and just kind of like to just tuck it out of the way. Uh, keep the, your windlass tucked in. And just kind of and start like that. Just again like that. Attach it with your little nylon bands. If you want to get a pouch for it, that's fine. Uh, you know, again, I would probably sit there and say that, again, the fine motor skills when you're scared thing kind of goes out the window. But, alrighty. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, I really do think these are really awesome you know, tourniquets, uh, trust me, this is going to be on all my giveaways I do from now on and all my personal gear will be these recon, you know, tourniquets. I really like them a lot. So questions, comments, leave them below. Until I see you all again, I'm Giant Practical Nurse. Salute. Out of here.